Hello, my name is Bo James with New Tech Lures. And first off, I want to give a big thank you to Western Bass for this opportunity to be able to show our products in their iCast and Beyond publication. And um, right, we're we don't have um, we are not going to be able to be at iCast this year, but next year we plan on being there. And we'd like to show you some of our products, and we invite you to visit our website at newtechlures.com and see what we have. We're in the business of selling jigs. We also have spinner baits and other related products. Uh, but the thing that we're really selling isn't new color and new flash and new dance. Is we're trying to sell the the uh, fishing population a better fishing tool. And what we have here is called the new jig. And if you look at it, it has a very iconic look. And you can always tell it's a new jig by these separated dual appendages and by the flat eyes on the front of it. Uh, jigs traditionally for years have been made the same with a center-based weed guard. And there's been like a Y guard which still stems from a center base and everybody uses the bristle bundles now but the thing that I want to show you and it's been in print for eons if you're fishing with a weedless jig but you're not fishing around much brush to trim the weed guard down and the reason for that is because it obviously doesn't hook very well so if you trim the weed guard down then you can't fish it through anything because anytime you drag it across anything it, it hangs up so I want to show you here I have several different models, uh, popular models, and this thing is called the Fooster, and it's a hook testing device. So what I want to illustrate is not that you don't catch fish with this, but I'm going to show you that you actually are missing some fish and, and why that you hook them poorly. And it's because of the flat hooking angle, because the center base weed guard is continually fighting the hook over to the side. So this being be in the fish's mouth, and you see it has quite a bit of tension on it. As these come through there, if they hook like everybody thinks that they do, then it should roll up and hook around that dowel, but watch what happens. That one didn't even try to roll up straight. Here's a popular finesse model that everybody likes to fish with. And you see it flipping over to the side. Now that, if you think about that, that's why you hook fish all over the mouth and out in the edge of the skin. That's because the hook almost got out of there with the hook completely flat, see? Flips over to the side again. Here's a, a football head that everybody likes to fish with. Did the same thing. Here's a stand-up style. And I just want to show you these different styles to show you they all do the same thing. Okay, the new jig, so you can see one thing that it does, it stands upright all the time. These flat surfaces, these flat eyes on the front of that are actually camming surfaces. And so anytime this thing is pulled through two parallel lines, those camming surfaces is going to rotate the jig vertical. Then by putting the weed guard out here on two separate points now, these two guide arms help lock it into the vertical position so that same fish we've been missing hooks them through the top of the head every time. So this is going to do a lot better job not only the hooking accuracy is better than a bare hook it also locks the hook into position by the force of those guide arms so a bass can't get rid of it the other thing that it does is now you have actually a tripod all the way around the hook point so when you drag through something there's no way for it to get to the hook point and because it stays upright all the time it, it fishes through rocks better than a football jig fishes through brush better than brush jigs and fishes through vegetation better than vegetation jigs it's also uh, the best swim jig on the market because the design of this head and these guide arms no matter how fast you pull that through the water it tracks straight up all the time and so it's very adaptable to everything that we fish with, including spinner baits. And if you see our spinner baits, they have a totally different wire frame. It's called a run true frame. 
and what that does for you is uh, no tuning on your spinnerbait. Even when the spinnerbait wire is uh, bent out of shape, it'll always seek its own center underneath itself and it still runs straight. The other thing is this is made out of 32 thousandths wire so you get a lot more feedback. It's also the head is loose and detachable so instantly you can change head sizes and colors just by simply removing the head off of the frame, stick it back on, put the snap down and you're ready to go again. So that's a lot of you can deplete your tackle box quite a bit. The other thing is the new jig is always going to help you hook better. So on traditional spinnerbait you've got that same safety pin wire frame which is why that they don't run straight. And the other thing I want to show you something. I'm going to pull this thing out straight as a string. I'm going to let go of it and you see it's virtually back into the same shape it was to start with. So not only do you get more vibration out of this because of the wireframe design, it's also it's not going to tear up on you. If you do that with the R-bend spinnerbait, it completely it'll stay flexed open. The other thing about uh, this design on the spinnerbait is because the design of it, 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 it can actually collapse down and go through smaller holes that you can't do with a normal spinnerbait so it fishes through a lot lot heavier cover. You also use the same head on your vibrating jigs, bladed jig. So same thing. It's not only it's more snag proof, but it's gonna your hooking ratio, your landing ratio after hookups is gonna be just phenomenally higher because they're gonna be hooked through the top of the head and not out in the edge of the skin. The other thing you can do with that, this is called the whiz jig. And if you see the blade is attached back here onto the hook. So there's many times that this is a great replacement for your spinnerbait, especially when the bass are just swiping at your blades. Well, if you do this, then they'll normally get the whole thing when they swipe at the blade. Instead of having misses, you'll have hookups every time. And this thing is also so compact, you can fish it through anything. So, I mean, it'll go through lots of places that you can't get a normal spinnerbait through. And there again, the same thing is your hookup and landing ratios are going to go way, way up. So, there's a little bit about uh, the technology and, and the new tech lures and the, and the new jig. And we invite you to visit our website and take a look at our products. And I think that uh, fishermen all over the country, those that's been fishing with them, they just can't believe they say they actually do way more than what we claim. So thanks a lot and, and thank you to Western Bass for this opportunity.